Hey, paper crafters. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love that you took the time to pop by my channel, check out the video that I've got going, and hopefully stay and poke around a little bit. I'm really excited to be able to offer some videos now and then and share my love of paper crafting. So I hope you find something that you enjoy and come back to see me another time. Bye-bye. Hey, paper crafting friends. Thanks for tuning in today. I wanted to share with you the latest album that I finished. I often have people ask me questions about, you know, is do you only do Kiwi or, you know, what are some of the other products that you use? So I, I like to share kind of as I finish something because it gives you an opportunity to see kind of what, you know, what else I'm doing. And, you know, we all have those paper stashes uh, that we're trying to use up. So. You may find some paper as you flip as I flip through that you're like ah I have that from 10 years ago so keep an open mind as we are looking so this is album um, 59 there's a little 59 here in the corner yep that's the 59th album I finished <laughs> so this one is definitely a Kiwi layout um, just a single page which I actually don't do very often um, but I literally had just this picture from um, my 17th anniversary with my husband. So I just did something quick and we had gone to a murder mystery theater. So I printed a couple of things from that. This one, hmm, I don't know. This is a random paper pack that I actually got when we were up at this, um, at the Oregon Caves. And really just a couple of strips, um, a die cut. So I wouldn't say that this has any certain like company feel. Um, now and then when I have a ton of pictures, I really love to use the pocket pages. So that's what that is. Just many pictures and pocket pages. And then the other half of that layout. More of the caves, again, um, you know, I might throw like a little Kiwi template in there to give a tag or an arrow or something, but this one really was just some strips and me using that particular paper pack that I had purchased um, at this place. If you've never been to the Oregon Caves, they're very cool. It's a beautiful area. So again, just continued on, threw in um, an arrow. This looks like it's probably a layout that I pulled from Club Scrap. They have really cool um, layout formulas when you are part of their club. Um, they send you a new layout formula every month. And this looks like one of those kind of designs from that is my guess. This is close to my heart paper. Love it. So still at the Oregon Caves. I'm not gonna lie, I overdo it sometimes, but it is so hard to get rid of really beautiful pictures. So just used a pocket page here for some of those extra photos. You can tell I still designed a two page layout, but the pocket page really helps make it go a little faster. So this one is definitely Kiwi using some of the Kiwi templates. Um, this was a happy accident. I had this really fun uh, thing. It says little firecracker that I used and then I got a picture of my granddaughter that they sent me um, to show me what she had on for 4th of July and it was a little shirt that says little firecracker. <laughs> so that was amazing. Great fit. So a lot of fun. We just had some friends over for this particular 4th of July. My daughter was visiting. So yeah, little little pool time, little badminton. This is a close to my heart layout. Um, I wanna say this was called Grillin' and Chillin'. And I it came with stamps and stuff, so I did some stamping on here. Um, this was a lot of fun. I really like when I can incorporate some of my stamping and some of my die cuts into my layouts. Um, right now I have to kind of be working off of some instructions. <laughs> I'm not super creative with that yet by myself, so. This is on the back of our property. My girlfriend got to do a little bit of shooting down there with my husband, a little bit of target shooting. So 
we ended up documenting that. This one is definitely just um, done with a Kiwi style, chose a couple of border templates. This little gear, I think it's from Tiny Accents, you know, just able to create just about anything you want with a few templates. Ah, this is a Kiwi kit. This is one of my, this is actually one of my favorites. I wanna say it was May, um, a May kit. And this paper is really one of my favorite of all time, Kiwi papers. I'm not sure why, but I just loved it. And um, was able to do this little banner that was part of that kit as well. And the lemon or orange, whatever you wanna think of it as. So did a little bit of just tracing, and then this one I did some inking, like used it as a stencil, so a lot of fun. This one is also Kiwi. This would have been um, a club kit from a while back. Came with this really cool, these big templates. So I had fun designing with that. And we'll flutter by. Oh, back to a close to my heart style layout. This would have been one of their kits. This is one of my grandbabies. So definitely close to my heart paper. Love their stuff too. Uh, this looks like maybe, maybe Echo Park. I'm not sure. Um, but just a combination of some of their little like ephemera stuff and just a big strip across the back. So some very simple layout there. This one's Club Scrap. I am a big Club Scrap fan. So that is the second club that I get. I get Kiwi Club every month and I get Club Scrap every month. Um, club Scrap does have a skip option. I've really only skipped it a few times the whole time that I've been a member, which dates pretty far back, but loving that one. This looks like Quick Quotes. So one of their page kits. I never know when I look at my quick quotes if I did it exactly like their kit <laughs> showed or if I ended up changing it. So I can't tell you that, but definitely quick quotes. This one is uh, my own layout, just using uh, some Kiwi templates and whatever paper pack I was using had some little stickers or ephemera or whatever that I was able to pop up and just use as designs. This is really more in a mosaic moment style. Um, there's a company, I'm trying to remember the name of it right now, it's not flying into my brain, um, that sells the grid paper that has just a little mark on each of the square inches on the paper. So this makes it really, really easy to design um, these kind of layouts using this kind of grid style and really just using some extra little pops of color to fill in those empty spaces. So the paper is close to my heart, but the, the, the background paper would have been from that other company. This one's Kiwi. So this was paper out of a Kiwi kit, aside from this kind of gold I added in, just a metallic that I had. So this one just has a small little pocket page here just for some extra photos. I actually came across these extra photos after I had finished. So when I originally designed this layout, um, I knew these pictures for, were from my birthday celebration. And then these were from another time that John had gone out to dinner. Um, my husband had gone out to dinner with his parents. And then I was going through some things and I found these other pictures that uh, my mother-in-law had sent me. Uh, of my birthday celebration. So I was able to just pop them in here and not have to feel like I had to redo it or create a whole nother layout. This one is close to my heart. For a while I was getting close to my hearts. Um, they would send it like every three or four months and it had um, a couple of page layouts uh, for each month. They were building up for me. I wasn't using them as, as, as much as I would like. And so I ended up canceling that, but super cute. So this is a couple of my grandsons. Super fun. It's my granddaughter's birthday. She had a monster themed birthday. I do not remember the company. 
that this particular layout was from. I had to change it some, there's so much stuff. Um, and it took forever to build these and stuff, but of course, super cute. Um, but yes, this one, I probably used um, a layout formula from Club Scrap for this. It definitely looks like that to me um, with some paper that I had of my own. I think this might be SEI paper. Um, this was literally like one of those big sticker sheets from the Dollar Tree where they sell the really big like kind of wall decals. So anyway, <laughs> I use all kinds of stuff clearly. Alrighty, this one I definitely did in a Kiwi style using um, different templates to create all of the designs on here. This paper looks like, hmm, might be Echo Park. I'm not positive though. But just combined a couple of different ideas here. I had a, some photos that were, I didn't have enough to do a full two page layout. So we got refinishing the deck along with some pictures of one of my boys and my granddaughter, so. Oh, this is really old Kiwi. Oh my goodness, super fun. But yes, definitely Kiwi there. This one is Quick Quotes. This was a class I actually took at a scrapbook expo. A lot of fun, really beautiful colors. I couldn't wait to find just the right thing for this. And these pictures of a, of a place that I am lucky enough to get to go visit here in Oregon were perfect. Uh, just kind of a fall layout I did in a Kiwi, using Kiwi templates. Uh, these were papers from one of the club kits. This one is a club scrap. I may have changed it around a little bit. Um, I tend to cut their stuff out following their directions, but I don't assemble it until I have the photos ready. So that way I can move things around if I need to. It's just a fall layout that I created with some papers that I had. This is a really old club scrap. And that is the end. I rarely have a back page to my albums. Sometimes I don't have a front page in my albums. Um, it just kind of depends on what I've got going on. But that is album number 59. So hopefully that gave you some ideas if you needed them. Um, it's always kind of fun to see what other people are doing. So I would love for you to share back. Or if you had a favorite page that you saw, leave me a comment and let me know. But I appreciate the time that you spent uh, peeking into my scrapbooking crazy. And I hope I see you again on my channel soon. <laughs> Bye.